Humana, 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 Safari Zone in Pokemon Brick Bronze. Now, wouldn't that be just perfect, guys? Hey, what is up, everybody? I'm Star Lord, and today we're gonna be talking about my Pokemon Brick Bronze wish list. I guess this is kind of a new little series on my channel. I wanted to do it for a while, but all of my ideas, I kind of saved them for Kyle Alla Music's game. But considering that that game is no longer coming out now, I guess that I thought that I would actually do my ideas on what uh, Lanzo, T. Bradem, and the whole team over at Pokemon Brick Bronze could do for Pokemon Brick Bronze in the future and make it, you know, enjoyable. Uh, so, starting off with today's episode, we're going to be talking about a Safari Zone in Pokemon Brick Bronze. Now, I know a lot of people will be thinking, but there's already the Lost Islands and there's already the Underwater Diving. I mean, what more do you want? Well, bloody hell, guys, I want a Safari Zone in Pokemon Brick Bronze! I want a zone where you have to pay Pokemon dollars to go into the zone and kind of catch different Pokemon. It would be super cool. It would be absolutely super cool. Now, I have a lot of ideas for how this Savari Zone could actually work in Pokemon. And genuinely, I think it could work. And I think that if the devs didn't add this into the game, it would be a very silly thing to do because they could earn not only a lot of money from this, but people will come back and actually play the game religiously just to get the Pokemon inside here. Now, for those of you who don't know, Safari Zone first showed up in the first Pokemon game in which you could go inside and you could catch Pokemon that were very, very rare across the Kanto region. And this was still like Chansey, um, Kangaskhan, uh, Pinsir, and a couple of other Pokemon on top of that. Execute. Uh, yeah, it was just kind of crazy. And genuinely, I played this game, I played the Kanto games for so long just trying to catch these Pokemon inside this Safari Zone. Now, what made it very hard is that you only had a certain amount of time to spend inside the Safari Zone. So, personally, I think if it was in Pokemon Brick Bronze, I would say give the players around about four, three minutes to go inside, go and grab their Pokemon that they need, and then finish up. Now, what also makes it very difficult in these Safari Zones is that you don't have to use, well, you don't get to use Pokemon. You have to actually use a Pokeball a rock. You can actually throw rocks at Pokemon. Like, hey, Chansey, boom, have some of that. You, you horrible little egg looking thing. <laughs> and, but then also you get bait. And um, what you do is like throw candy or something on the floor. The Pokemon comes a little bit closer, hence making a, a little bit easier to catch. But genuinely, it was extremely difficult and actually I think that somebody data mined one of the Pokemon games and actually found out that it wasn't actually the case like throwing uh, bait to the Pokemon it didn't make it easier to catch it was kind of like an RGN thing it was randomly generated numbers to actually like say you can catch this Pokemon now so it was kind of a little bit of a scam but very smart of Game Freak is that it made people play longer. It really did. It made the game last longer. And that is something that not a lot of games have these days. Now, if they did add a Pokemon Brick Runs, a Safari Zone, what I actually propose is that they do kind of go for the uh, kind of route where you have like special Pokemon in there. So maybe ones with like, it's such as like the Magikarp pool, you know, where you could have like special looking Magikarps. Maybe we could have like, uh, I know, I know that if the developers are watching this right now, they're going to hate me saying it, but Aura Pokemon. I feel like maybe each time you go inside the Safari Zone, you get like a one in, uh, one in like 700 chance to catch a Aura Pokemon. And it could be anything in that zone. That would be, that would be pretty cool. I think that would be so, so cool if they did that. Uh, but not only there, I have one very big idea for what they could do inside the Safari Zone, but I'm going to wait until episode number two because it's kind of a bit, uh, it's kind of a bit weird to explain, but if they are considering the Safari Zone, I genuinely think they should watch my episode two and look at my next idea for what they should add to Pokemon Brick Bronze. It would definitely work inside the Safari Zone, and I know, I know the players would love it. Um, 
on top of all this, I do feel like uh, maybe if they don't want to make it like a time thing, maybe they could, they could actually like do it like where if you take 500 or 600 steps, then you have to go back and uh, the game's over, you know? That's what they actually did in Pokemon Bear, Red, Blue and Yellow and also in Fire Red and Leaf Green. Uh, so anywhere to 500 to 600 steps and the next minute like an alarm sounds and it's like, no, your time's over. Uh, enjoy catching the Pokemon and then it brings you back into the actual lobby where you can choose to go back into the Safari Zone for I don't know how much more money it would have cost uh, But maybe you can go back inside or something like that or maybe you can just leave the game It's it's up to you. It doesn't really matter and um, but honestly I think that they should add special items inside this zone too where you can kind of go back in and find them and keep on going back and find them. In Pokemon Yellow, uh, Blue and Red, there was actually like this really hard thing to find and it was a uh, gold teeth. Yeah, it's so weird, but you actually had to go inside, find gold teeth for this old man and go and give him them back and he would actually give you something in return. And uh, yeah, I thought that was like a very awesome thing to do. Like a lot of people were always trying to find it. And uh, what they could actually do is rather than the actual item spawning in the same spot, maybe they could have it where it spawns at different spots for different people. It's kind of like a randomly generated uh, area. And uh, that would kind of make people play more so that if they went on YouTube to try and find this tutorial, you know, uh, they the, the update just wouldn't be uh, like finished. Like, you know what I mean? So yeah. Yeah, I genuinely think that if they did add this in, a lot of people would be happy, especially if, if it was for Poké Dollars, because like, I don't know, maybe they could add something where if you pay for Robux, you get like an increased chance of finding an Aura Pokémon, but it's not that much of a difference. Um, I would be okay with that. Genuinely, I would spend my money on that. I really would. Um, and then, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of the Pokemon that they could actually put into the uh, Safari Zone right now. I'm, I'm thinking, hmm, is Farfetch'd in the game? No, Farfetch'd, Smeargle, um, oh, Jesus Christ, there's so many. Like, is Doduo in the game? Yeah, he's in the game. Uh, let's see, like, Farfetch'd, uh, maybe, like, uh, is the Alolan Executor in there yet? I guess that's going to be in the Alolan Islands, though. So, yeah, I guess not. Uh, I don't know. I genuinely feel like this could be good, though. Maybe even if they added in, you know, if, if they just continue to add in, like, Kangaskhan and uh, maybe put the Mega Evolution Stone in there with it. That would be cool, too. I think that would be so cool. Uh, but anyway, guys, let me know in the comment section below what Pokemon you would love to see if they did add a Safari Zone in Pokemon Brick Bonds. And please do not miss episode 2 of this little wishlist series because the episode 2 is something that I know a lot of you guys would actually tweet to the devs and ask the devs because... It, it's huge. It's really huge. And I'm surprised that none of the developers have done this yet. It's it's big, guys. And if they added it into the game, you would be so, so happy. I know you all would. Uh, but anyway, have a very awesome day. And until next time, I've been Star-Lord. Oh, see ya.